And we're back. Fellow knife enthusiast, I'm C, and this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. And we're here with our eighth episode. This week we've got some awesome blades for from some of the what, top manufacturers, such as Zero Tolerance and Boker. But we've also got some knives from Gerber, Viper, and Nemesis that we are dying to show you. Not literally, of course. Of course not literally. I still haven't completed my Beanie Baby collection. You know, that little pink platypus mm -hmm. is hard to come up with. It's considered really rare. Yeah, especially in mint. I keep trying to find it, but it keeps eluding me. But first... There are only two more weeks before we choose the name of our show and the winner of the free swag. We had some entries thus far, mm -hmm. and those who haven't entered, you've still got some time. And if you, yes you, like free stuff, let's be honest, who doesn't? Please make sure to leave your suggestion about our name in the comment section below. Got so excited about that free stuff. I know. So excited. Also, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button so you can stay within the circle of trust with us and Atlantic Knife. And uh, without further ado, see? Let's talk about the table. Our first knife is a new take on an old friend, the Zero Tolerance Sikovich Frame Lock. This is one of ZT's most popular blades, and it originally featured a carbon fiber front scale and titanium back. However, however, the company recently made the handle of this blade all titanium. Mm -hmm. It was designed by Dmitry Sinkovich, hence the name and is approximately seven and a half inches long, while the blade is three and one quarter. This frame locks titanium handle has a stone washed finish, while the blade is CPM 20 CV steel with machine satin grinds and a stone washed flats. The slipper <clears throat> has a KVT ball bearing opening system, a, a black reversible tip up carry pocket clip, and a steel lock bar insert. The knife only weighs three ounces, and finally, it has a black anodized aluminum back spacer. And it's only $220 on AtlanticKnife.com. Well, what do you think of this awesome knife? To be honest, I think it is a fantastic blade. I like the upgrade to all titanium. I've always been fond of the handle curvature, which allows it to fit your hand, even though it's the smaller version. Mm -hmm. I also like the upswept part of the blade. Mm -hmm. It's also a frame lock. Quality all around blade. Did you like how I put your answer in the question? Yes, I did. It was very Pavlovian of you. Yes, well, I only do it to you because it's amusing. I would never consider doing that to our customers. I mean subscribers. What about you, Jewel? What do you like about this blade? Well, I cannot tell a lie. I prefer the carbon fiber one more. But that's only because I like carbon fiber more. However, this one is more sleek because of the titanium and is a lot tougher and more impervious to damage. I would agree. Yep. Our next knife is the Boker Magnum Arctic Ocean Sailor Liner Lock. <laughs> This knife has an ice gray G10 handle. Nice, ice, ice, baby. <laughs> and a 440A stainless steel blade. Uh, it has a reverse Tonto cut style. The blade also has a two tone satin and stone wash finish, which really brings out the cut of the blade and the handle color, in my opinion. This liner lock has dual thumb studs. Mm -hmm. It's about eight inches overall in length. The blade is about three inches. It has a tip down, carry pocket clip, mm -hmm. and a lanyard hole. I tell you what I see, if you want to know. I'm curious. I see a knife perfectly suited for everyday use. I mean, it has all the features that one could want. I mean, a strong, sturdy handle, blade jimping, and a nice opening system. Now I ask you, 
What do you see? Well, I see a knife. Chet Ripley's of the world, ladies and gentlemen. Just kidding. For a knife that's about 38 bucks. On AtlanticKnife.com. It seems to be very well made mm -hmm. for a daily carry or a beater knife. I would be more happy to carry this knife, given that it's a 440A steel blade. It's easy to sharpen. Mm -hmm. Makes a great work knife and a great gift. Hint, hint, wife. The next blade in our lineup is the Viper Balan Liner Lock. This carry was designed by Jesper Vaknes and was made in Italy. He made a knife uh, you didn't, couldn't refuse. Did you know that Balan is a type of needlefish which is slim and narrow? No, I didn't, but I guess that makes sense since this is a very slim and narrow knife. Yes, this knife also has a stone-washed titanium handle mm -hmm. with black carbon fiber scales. Yes, that's one aspect I like. The clip point blade is Bowler M390 steel mm -hmm. with a flat grind. It also has minimal jimping mm -hmm. here in the middle of the blade mm -hmm. and on the flipper stud and backspacer. This liner rock is just under three ounces and has a thrust bearing pivot system, which allows for quick responsive deployment of the blade. You know what I like about this knife? What? I really like the materials used in its design. Mm -hmm. Titanium, carbon fiber, M390, highest of quality, high end materials that really boost the knife's resistance to wear and tear. Mm -hmm. Plus the maker being Voxnez, it just sounds tough. Hard consonants right there. If you're like me, you need a knife that can take some beating, whether you're using it for small, everyday house jobs or, or more tough work. And this knife really falls into that category. I know I really, really like the carbon fiber scales and the slim design of the handle. It isn't wide like the Colosso from last week. No, the handle kind of fits inside your fingers with your hand, if that makes sense. Yeah, it makes perfect sense to me. I also think uh, Viper's and Voxnez's take on the pocket clip is unique. It is also very slim with a simple design that I think just fits in with the knife perfectly. Oh no, there's a butt coming. But I don't love this clip as much as the Boker Defenders pocket clip last week. I knew it. However, however, I still think that Viper and the designer did a great job on this blade. I think they did also. And for one ninety nine ninety nine on AtlanticKnife.com. Just can't go wrong. The next blade on the table mm -hmm. is the Boker Alligator Toast. Yes. I said toast. <laughs> this knife is seven and a half inches overall and the blade length is three and a quarter. The frame lock has a 440A plain drop point blade with a stone wash finish and a hollow grind. It has a deep carry tip down pocket clip which is stainless steel with a stone wash finish. This flipper weighs about four ounces and comes in this very, very very cool. Reusable tin! The best thing about this knife, in my opinion, mm -hmm. is its smooth, one-hand deployment. It's just easy to open, close. I could do this all night long. PMS. <laughs> all night long, y'all! <laughs> The frame of this knife is stainless steel and the handle has the same material on the back of it while the front of the back, uh, front of the front of the blade has the alligator texture design. You know, I really like the front handle texture design and the quick deployment as you said and of course the tin. Can't, we can't forget about the tin. Um, and you know what? Now that I think about it, I actually looked up what you could do <laughs> with this tin. There, the options are endless. I'm telling you. Really? Uh huh. 
only you would buy a knife for a box. Okay, whoa, 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 not true. I would buy it just for the knife. Okay. The tin would just be a bonus. I mean, do you want to know some of the things that you can do with this tin? <laughs> not really. You can make small on the go, like first aid kits and small fishing tactical boxes and survival kits. I also saw that someone used it and to make like a fire starting kit, you know, if you need some dry tinder when you're out and about. You know, or, you know, do one of those hiking trips or camping trips. I also saw that someone made a mini flashlight. It gets better. An emergency candle. And hold on to your hats, okay? Because this one's weird. This one's weird. I'm not saying you're all going to make this, but a Morse code oscillator. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Next week we'll find Jewel selling these tins on Etsy. Hilarious. Well... You guys don't need a translator to understand why we like our next knife. The Cold Steel Wild West Bowie. This knife isn't heading for the 90s living in the wild, wild west. However, it does feature that iconic big blade that we all know from the western movies and TV shows. The blade alone is 10.75 inches, while the overall knife is 16 inches. The blade is 1090 carbon, while the handle shows off the rosewood scales attached to the full tang with brass screws. This Bowie also has a patterned brass handguard, mm -hmm. which protects your fingers, and as Cold Steel says, enhances the knife's defensive potential. potential. Mm -hmm. Finally, this Bowie also comes with a black leather sheath mm -hmm. with a belt loop and a leather leg strap both of which make this knife extremely versatile. I don't know if I would carry this thing on my leg. I mean, it's huge. Oh, hold on, yes, but it's dual purpose. <laughs> I mean, think about it. You pack your bags, yeah. you're going on a company trip. You get in your car, which let me tell you, <laughs> there aren't many company trips around here. <laughs> okay. You drive to your hotel, Yeah. you huh? get there. I'm driving. And oh, Lo and behold, yeah, you forgot your razor. God, such a klutz. I do that all the time. You break out your Bowie. That I happen to bring. And you just shave your legs. Oh my god. You are ready for the blade show the next day. I mean, this knife is made for today's urban woman. I think I just might cut my leg off. <laughs> Knowing you, you probably would. Or better yet, <laughs> you would have a tin for your you know, first aid kit. Well, at least I have a first aid kit. Hey, there's another idea for the tin. I mentioned that one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> In fact, I don't think I would ever have a real need for this knife unless, unless I was being attacked by Black Bart. Like I would imagine bed. that most people mm -hmm. will just use the knife for display. You know what? I just put it in my showcase next to my M48 Cyclone boot knife. You know, you remember that one with its single spot. Uh, hey, I mean, think about it. It would look good right next to it. I definitely remember that because wasn't that the one that I wanted to stab with a watermelon with? In the grocery yeah, store, yeah. I, I remember you could probably do the same thing with the, the Cold Steel Wild Wild West Bowie, which is only $95.99 on AtlanticKnife.com. And this town is just big enough for our next knife, which is the Boker Challenger Nick Knife. This fixed blade is just under five inches long, mm -hmm. with a blade spanning a whopping two inches. This knife also has a black G10 handle and a 440A stainless steel Tommy two-tone blade. This neck knife also comes with a sheath, which Jewel seems to be demonstrating. You know what? This freaking knife is fine, bloody tastic. I like that you can use this knife wherever you are, especially if you only have like one hand available. You can just whip it out. It's super easy to use. I mean, you can see anyone, and I can see anyone wearing this knife at any time. Well, 
It also satisfies rule number nine. Always carry a knife, even when naked. And that's what's important. The next knife mm -hmm. we're going to hit is the Gerber Fastball. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's gone. This liner lock has a S30 VN steel worn cliff blade, a ball bearing pivot system, and is approximately seven inches when open. The blade is three inches long mm -hmm. with a light stone wash finish. The handle on the flipper is aircraft grade aluminum, mm -hmm. which is what makes this knife so light, weighing in at only 2.7 2 ounces. ounces. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. This knife is also equipped with a BOSS technology, which is why this knife has such smooth blade play. Uh, finally, this knife has a stainless pocket clip, a lanyard hole, and a black backspacer. This knife also reminds me of a giant Kershaw leak. Not a huge fan of leaks, mm -hmm. but I would, because they're kind of small, I would definitely like it be bigger. Yeah, I wouldn't want one on my boat, remember? Yeah. Never want to leak in your boat. <laughs> this is the first Gerber that we've done on the show, and I'd have to say I'm very pleased. Me too. I, I'm definitely not disappointed. Uh, I like the cleanness of this knife. I mean, there isn't a lot going on. You can just appreciate the beauty of the materials all on their own. I think my favorite feature may be the handle. And it's a bonus that this knife was made in the USA. Mm-hmm. I can't get over the feel of this knife. It, it's so light. So yes, light. So light. In fact, that the knife could float right into your guy's hands for only $99.99 on AtlanticKnife.com. <laughs> Up next is the ne Nemesis. And the Nem 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 We have no shame here. <laughs> Nemesis MPR 3T Tonto. Folder. No man. Is that like Harry Potter's nemesis? Vol Whoa! We do not speak his name. Okay, it's 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 he who must not be named. And no, it's not. It's not nothing like him. You're right. Anyone who had this knife could easily defeat he who must not be named. Mm-hmm. Could just suck it. <laughs> this knife, though no match for Harry's nemesis, is still an extremely tough blade with CPM S35VN steel coming up 5960 on the Rockwell scale. It also has a black G10 handle and a black 6061 aluminum backspacer and stainless liners. This multi-grind Tonto style cut blade is perfect for everyday tasks. And the four-way pocket clip allows you guys to adjust this knife in whatever way that best suits you. This lock back is also about eight inches overall, mm -hmm. five inches closed, while the blade is just under three and a half inches. Finally, this knife weighs three and a half ounces, making it a perfect pocket or backpack carry. It also has a thumb stud for smooth, quick opening, and finally, it has that lanyard hole. I like this knife, mm -hmm. but I'm more of a frame lock type of guy. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned before, they're proven to be a little bit stronger. Well, I have to say I would most definitely carry this knife with me. It's the perfect size and shape for an EDC pocket knife. Although I do have like this irrational fear that if I carry a pocket folder like the G5 Metamorph or the Viper Balloon, in my pocket that somehow, some way, it will open within my pocket or as I'm taking it out. You're right. That is irrational. Oh my gosh. Hardy har har. Okay. Oh, you know what? You guys can get this blade without loss of limb for only $149.95 on AtlanticKnife.com. Mm -hmm. The last <laughs> knife we have for you guys today is the Broas Blades Reloader Liner Lock. Reload. This blade isn't a new knife, but it is from Broas's 
imported line. This liner lock is about 8 inches overall, 4.75 inches closed, has D2 tool steel, stone washed finish blade, and it's uh, three and a half inches yeah, with about, a yeah. Tonto style cut. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. The flipper has a reversible pocket clip. You know, the design of this knife was a collaboration between custom knife makers Jason Broes and Mikkel Williamson. And I have to say that they couldn't have done a better job with designing this blade. You're right. The lightness of this knife is a great feature, mm -hmm. especially for those who tend to carry um, more than usual when they, uh, you know, go outdoors backpacking. I believe that my favorite knife mm -hmm. of this week is which one? The Zero Tolerance Sinkovich because of the quality materials that they use to make it. Mm -hmm. The blade shape, its durability, it's a frame lock. Mm -hmm. What about you, Jewel? Well, uh, I like the materials and look of the Viper Balloon. But I like the feel of the Boker Alligator. And your favorite is... Okay, um... You know what? Just do it. My fa favorite is the Viber Balan. The carbon fiber and the sleek design, they just, they won me over. What about your <clears throat> irrational fear of it magically opening up in your pocket? Look at this knife. I'll get over it. Yeah, I knew you were going to go with it. So predictable. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed our show. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Really? <laughs> also, make sure to get your suggestions in about our name so you have a chance to win some free swag. Just drop them in the suggestions. Drop your suggestions right in the comment section below. We also want to hear what you guys think about our show. Mm -hmm. and any of the knives we've shown you here or in past videos. So talk to us. We'll try to respond as quick as lightning. You guys can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Atlantic Knife, where the good times roll and the knife fun never ends. As always, I'm C, and this is Jewel. Just Jewel. And we are signing off.